Hi, I am Dr. Surekha Tiwari. I am a practicing homeopathic doctor and a psychological counselor. I have been in the profession for the last 35 years. I have my clinic in Bangalore. Bile reflux is as good as the gastric reflux. The bile itself does not come back or come up towards anything. We all have sphincter here at the end of the food pipe, which is known as the cardiac sphincter. If you have food very late in the night, if there is not a sizable food distance between your dinner and your bedtime or your lying down, there the stomach is full when you lie down and that stomach can push the contents upwards into the food pipe. Very soon it can lead to something which is known as reflux. In technical terms, we call it GERD, gastroesophageal reflux disorder. Bile is a part of the gastric juices which are in the stomach when digestion starts. There can be very right theory about bile being the intestine, but what I'm trying to tell you is that bile is a part of your digestive juices. So bile reflux alone does not happen. Gastric reflux can happen all the time if the habits or the timetable of sleeping and eating are not monitored properly. Typically, GERD, as the name suggests, it's a reflux which is a functional disorder. Whenever there will be a problem in the functioning of the digestion, that is why. So this can be also corrected. It has various stages, stage 1 to stage 4. Stage 1 to 3 are those where you know that you know, a little correction, a little mindful eating, difference between 2 hours between your eating and your sleeping will get you back. But as we say, disease is an ongoing process until unless you are the break there. So if you don't look after your phenomena, after some time what starts happening, each meal starts coming and the acid starts corroding your own wall. That's grade 4 where you would have heard terms like even hydrocernia or you would have heard terms like people have had ulcerations in the food pipe. This is basically because we haven't looked after it. Reflux can be very well handled. You just have to eat on time, have a two and a half hour gap between your food, especially your dinner and your bedtime. Eat your dinner a little less and try and go for a small little bit of walk so that gravity helps you empty your stomach better. For lunch also, a minimum gap of one hour should be there between eating your lunch and sleeping or going for your siesta. And if you've had good, then medicines like Carbovage, medicines like Ignatia, medicines like Nasa Foytida help. The natural remedies also we recommend a lot in our clinic. And one of the best remedies is to take asafoetida, what you call in Hindi ghee. If you can take a little asafoetida with your meals, after your meals, or in your buttermilk, it helps your GERD symptoms to a large extent. And have better habits, this is not going to be okay.